Hey guys, so I guess tonight we're going to talk about the Block Northway since a lot of you guys have been asking me about the other freight elevator there. They do have two freight elevators there. And I will show you the one that I rode um, a couple weeks ago. Here. Let me go ahead and uh, find it. So this is a uh, old, this is the original elevator in the mall. It's still running. Okay. This is the first straight elevator. So if you like walk in from the second floor entrance and you go down the steps, you go for the door right there and it's just straight down the hallway there. You can't miss it. It's right there. It's from 1962 and it's unmodernized. So yippee to that. At least it's not some kind of generic crap or anything like that. That crap that. But um here it is. This is the 1962 Marshall Hydraulic Freight Elevator at the Block Northway in the can list here. Um so yes, it's 100 percent original. Yes, it's a hydraulic elevator. And, and the only original elevator left in the mall. So here it is. There's your call button. It's a Marshall elevator. Uh I believe that Maybe. Um, so here it is. They're almost 56 years. So that's the call button for it. It's just a call button. Uh, we don't need to see. That's the case of fire. That's for like if you uh, need shaft access, pit access. You just you know put your key in there, pull it up, and you can open the door. That was added on, obviously. It's a Peely door, and this is a Marshall elevator. It's no riding, but I don't, but, you know, it cares. There are people use it, I'm sure. Uh, I'll go ahead and look inside now. Hey, I had to go upstairs to see if it was going to move or not. It's only open between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Probably didn't shut it off. There are your buttons. Hi, Gage. Hi, Donovan. We've got two uh, people watching now. So, so here, here is the uh, for it. It's an old Marshall elevator for you guys to join. Um, it's at the block Northway in Canada. Yeah. So we're looking inside the freight elevator right now, uh, uh, which was installed in 1963 or 1962. I don't really know, but... um. It's an old, old elevator. I have to look at the certificate. I might go there, which I don't know when that will be. Uh, so this is the uh, the uh, power station for it. As you can tell, the fire service was added on. The only floor is one and two. I tried going to M, but I couldn't go there. And then when it got to M, oh, here's what I did. Now, I pushed M, but it didn't go there. So when I pushed two, I decided to stop it on M, like, you know. And, you know, I went to o try to open the doors, but it wouldn't open. I think M is just, you know, like, it's blocked off, basically. And it won't let you out. So, yeah. This is equipment number four. This, I don't know, a year was installed because the printed number is, uh, you know, hidden down there. 3,000 pounds. You can see, it is a Marshall elevator. Right there, see? Marshall Elevator. Got a really weird gate. Um, we'll get to that in a second here, but that's just the gate. This is the only freight elevator working. So Donovan asked about a walled-off freight elevator here. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. And then I will show you where it is on the map from this elevator right here. I couldn't believe it that there was an. I, I thought there was only one freight elevator in the small, but actually, it appears there are two of them now. You guys want to see? It's pretty spooky, actually. No, it's not spooky. It's got some add ons to it, I know, in certain areas. So, yeah, listen, this is the uh, service corridor on the first floor. And if you keep going straight ahead, it takes you outside. Or no, it takes you to. 
that takes you out into the main mall. And that's a staircase that goes to the garage. Uh, that takes you outside there, yeah. Great elevator machine is over here. There's a 5500 that I got to ride, which is a very first for me. Actually, they have two free freight elevators in this mall, actually. They have, they have one old freight elevator, and they have a brand new freight elevator in Nordstrom Rack. And then they have the uh, walled off freight elevator, and uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, Nordstrom does have a freight elevator, believe it or not. Just as innovation cruiser, nothing special. Like the one at Crosspark Mall, except that one is newer. The Block North Way Freight Elevator on the service corridor, that thing's really neat. But I'll go ahead and show you guys this old freight elevator here. Here it is. So when I was walking, so like I went into the parking garage and I went up these spooky steps, you know, in a spooky stairwell. And I got up to that top floor and I went into a spooky looking service corridor. It was very dark in there. So I walked into this big room and I saw a big wall and I'm like, I wonder what that big wall is over there. And so I walk over to that big wall and I go around the corner and I'm like, what the heck? There's another freight elevator here. And look at this. Guess what kind it used to be when it was working? That's right. It used to be an old Otis. So at Block Northway, I hate to say this to you, Block Northway, if you're, I mean, I know, I know obviously they're not watching a stream right now, but Block Northway, you guys did an excellent job at the restoration of the mall, but tearing out this old freight elevator, half of it, as you guys can see, that's the freight elevator right there. They walled it off. See, that's the whole thing right there. I don't. I looked. Now, here's what's funny. After I saw the freight elevator, I thought there has to be a passenger elevator here too. So I went looking all around the room, and I didn't even see a passenger elevator. So Donovan, I hope that answers your question. That's the one. Uh, that's the freight elevator for Horns, I think. And then I don't know where the passenger elevator is. I think they ripped that thing completely out. Or maybe it was that glass elevator. I don't know. Probably a glass elevator. I thought it was in this room, but no, this must be the new bathroom or something that they're going to have. Very fancy. That's the whole open space right there, guys. Very dangerous in that room, but I had to be really careful when I was in here. So that's where the freight elevator is over there. I don't know where the passenger elevator used to be. Ha! Huh. had free floors, believe it or not, the freight elevator. Uh, this ain't Dave and Buster's. It's going to be Dave and done renovating, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be done, but I think the freight elevator will be ripped out. It probably is going to be ripped out. Please ignore that photo on the second row on the uh, if one there. Look at the map, and I'll show you where this grand freight elevator is. Now, I don't know if we can see it or not. Okay, so we've got Saxoff Fifth. That's the elevator in Saxoff Fifth. Here's the service corridor. That's where the old freight elevator is, the old one. And then the uh, one that was ripped out. Hey, you're right, elevator fan. I mean, Donovan, this is Dave and Buster's. This is going to be Dave and Buster's. Yep. So. I walked up these steps when I went to the, uh, uh, you know, the freight elevator from the parking garage. And I walked up there and I went really slowly because I thought I was the freight elevator that was original. Instead, I went up these steps. I went up these steps and into this room and I found the freight elevator. Now, my question is, where's the old passenger elevator? And where are the escalators at? I think this explains that the old elevator. Used to be over here, but then they put in the Schindler Verde 300 over here. And the escalators are probably, yeah. That glass elevator was probably part of Horns, and then the Schindler was added on later. I never got to ride the Schindler. Exactly. It does serve for three floors, and if you guys want to see what kind of doors it has, put my camera in there being stupid. It has security doors, it looks like, or Peely. Looks like Peely doors. Yeah, probably Peely doors. See, that's the freight elevator right there. There, it's, it's, it's dead, actually. You, know, you guys know that, I hope. Yeah, and the old elevator was wrecked out, and they put in the 3300. I don't even know why they didn't make it glass. I've got to go to the bathroom, but can you guys hold on, please, because I'll be right back. 
And Donovan, I'll show you where the secret freight elevator is at the Quadrenzo Mall, too, when I get back. If you guys ever see that spooky surface steps yet on the second floor, I sure will. Oh, I thought they had another elevator there. Maybe they'll put it in the steps. I didn't hear a picture of it. It's sad. On the spooky service corridor, I went in. Oh. A Westie service elevator? W what do you mean, elevator? I mean, Donovan. There's another elevator. There. Let me see. That's Dave and Buster's, and that's the old freight elevator. I can't have those steps. You're in Nordstrom. There's another elevator. Guys, look. That's one. There's another elevator. I think. Why didn't I see it? Elevator right there. That one's like if you went up, like if you walk walk behind the Schiller Freddy 300 when he first walked inside the door on the second floor, you walk into the creepy room and that elevator's right in there. This elevator right here, it's dead obviously. It's been dead for years probably. Look, I don't know what those are. I didn't touch them. It's not an exit sign. I didn't touch anything. No. That's the creepy service corridor. There's no elevator, though. Where? Don't listen to him, please. Just probably again. Like you always, you know. Yeah, don't listen to him, please. He's just probably making things up, you know. But maybe that's it right there, but then they ripped it out and put in that one. Uh, 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 which one is it? Yeah, they probably ripped it out. All right. Yeah, send me it over to the service corridor where the uh, elevator is, the old service elevator. What is that thing? And that's a freight elevator that does work. So he's going to send me something over the messenger. Uh, so in the meantime, here is the map of the Monroeville Mall. Here's a map of this. Uh, actually, but here's the map of the Monroeville Mall. And if you guys want to see a, if you guys want to see where the secret freight elevator is for the boiler room, I'll show you.
Jared said it again, like, I'm not going to really say what he did to me at the Cathedral of Learning. I think most of you know, though. But, but um, I'm not going to say too much on camera, though. Oh, but CBL Properties owns this mall. And I'll show you how to get to that freight elevator from the second floor. I wouldn't recommend riding this elevator though unless you get special authorization because it does go to a dangerous area. Uh, so this is where it's at. So. So you have to go outside on the second floor to get to it. Go around by the garage, you know, and then the elevator is right here. This is the HVAC elevator right here. I don't even know. I thought it went to the roof, but no. Circle it, Donovan. Uh, so, yep, this is the HVAC elevator. So you go around the garage. I didn't have my camera shared. You go around the garage, basically. Yeah, I'm here by Macy's, and then the elevator's right here. Yellow elevator is over here. Go to that zone elevator right there. That's the other elevator. And down here, there is another freight elevator right here. That's the first one I rode. And then this is the one for the Fuqua that Andrew fault was broken. And then I got this Japanese cuisine. We have an elevator in there. So, yeah, I wonder if any of these places have an elevator. Oh, they got an elevator there. Look at that. Wow. They have a lift there. Oh, I didn't know they had an elevator in there. Guys, look at this. I found another freight elevator at Monroeville Mall. An Ultras. The lift. Wow. What's this one? Stairwell. That's the freight elevator in the management office. At Monroeville Mall. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe that's a garbage lift or something. So here's a management office uh, freight elevator right here. I've ridden that one. There's a management office elevator. Macy's is right there. That's the HVAC elevator right there. And elevator. That's the O1 elevator. And then let me show you the first floor. Maybe I can see the machine room for the uh for the machine room for each elevator. My office, I'm on his office and I'm inside. I'm just going to show where they are. The HVSD one's down in the boiler room behind a fence, probably. You know, probably behind a big fence. It's locked up. Like most elevator machineries that are in the boiler room, they're behind a fence, you know. This is the lower level plan. I don't know if there's any other elevators at the Monroe Mall that nobody knows about. Probably not. Hey, Donovan, have you seen the Monroe at Robinson elevators? Where are they all at? It's walled off. Huh. Ha! Don't listen to him. He's probably just making things up again. I'm not trying to sound rude with him, but he's just probably making things up again. That's why I don't really like to meet up with him a lot. The more you meet up with him, the more trouble you have. 
here's the lower level for the, the management offices. The elevator machine room. Ew, where is it? Might be on the second middle floor. Wait. What? Guys, get this. Hey guys, get this. The elevator machine room. Oh, I thought it was on the middle floor. Ha! Huh. Build inspection. Oh, listen to that kid. Like I said, he's nuts. I don't like to meet up with him. Like I said that much. That's the management office free elevator machine room. On oh, a food court elevator. Right here. Just go this way. No elevators in the turn. Ready? Round around the block. And then you uh, going down this way. And under the escalators. Cross this ramp. This way. That's the elevator machine for that freight. And there's that freight. You get to the other elevator, you go this way. That one. That is an employee restroom right there. So is that. And then. Wow. I have some elevators in there. Sporting goods. I don't even know why they. Uh, oh. There's that freight, then you go around again, the block again, and then. Oh, okay, that's a big space, huh? That's a long corridor, too, huh? Then you guys go to a dead end. It's a storage area. That's where this machine room for the freight elevators of the HVAC elevator. I thought it was in the board. I forgot it was up on the middle. On excavated area. Get to it, and it's easy access. It's our best routing, though, unless you have permission, because it can go to a dangerous area. It's actually just probably not allowed on it. Unless you work down in the boiler room. It's probably on the maintenance guys use it. The engineers do. Like the ship technician and stuff. I found a ship. It would be nice if I actually saw one there. Have you guys ever run any of the freights that were Donovan? Or is obviously. Has I ever or maybe I've been there? I had trying to ride one. I was in the food court. Uh, so most of them go out to the dock on the first floor. But the other, there's only one that goes up to the second floor dock. I'll show you from the first floor. We're going to show both floors. So I'm going to show you what the first floor looks like for the one elevator. This one elevator opens up to a service corridor on the first floor instead of the. The second floor is a loading dock for one elevator. And the rest of them are this one. The first one is the second floor of the mall. Because all the service elevators that are in the mall open up into the service corridor on the second floor, except for one. That's that one by JC Penn right now. Simon property. Jonathan, there is a glass elevator, right? No, not the glass elevator, the one elevator. There is a freight elevator right there. And over here is another freight elevator. See, that's the one that goes outside. Obviously, that's the one that goes outside. That elevator. Oh, no, wait, it's the first floor, right? Yeah, this is all the first one leaving the outside. There's only one that doesn't open outside on the first floor, and it's this one right here. I think it's B or something, I forget. 
C or A. That one. And there's only four frames here. Let's see what the second floor looks like. So they all open up and you all meet them in the corridors on this floor. So you can get from one freight elevator to another in each of the corridors, basically. So this one right here, walk straight this way into this one right here. That's where I got caught at a little bit, but they didn't say anything. They just showed me out. They didn't do anything bad. Huh. There's that freight elevator. I've ridden that one. That's the one that goes outside. Oh, and it's another. Yeah, that's all the freight elevators there are at the Ross Park Mall. I don't think there's any other ones, huh? Uh, isn't that the mall where the from the AMC Theater's kitchen? Oh, yes, it is. I just remember, yes, it is. Funny the how it opens up into the kitchen. These are the age of sinuses and trespassing. Oh, the leasing for sure. They're all heat. They weren't installed in 2015. Yeah, they were installed up the early 2000s. American Girl. I guess we already have an American Girl there, too. Uh, Station Square, Freight House Shops. I wonder if they have leasing there. Let's see if they have leasing there. Um... Hey, Donovan, do you know that the uh, Station Square Mall has got a really big freight elevator there? I didn't take a picture of ride it or even go near it. But I saw it for the door. Huge freight elevator. I didn't ride it, though. It's for the office. Probably need a key card anyways to get on it. Yeah, it's not showing, um, not showing the leasing here, so... Square. Oh, they have a big freight elevator. You know where the high rise elevators are at Station Square? Um, Donovan. The high rise elevators in the uh, Commerce Court. So, like, when you go in the Commerce Court elevator, I mean, Donovan, you know, you walk in and you see the high rise elevators are right there, and you have the security desk. And then you go over by the bathrooms. You see those double doors right there? If you peek in there on the left, that's where that big freight elevator is. But obviously, I didn't ride it, though. The landmark building. Wonder. Uh, modernized by Otis. Hate lots. Woo! I don't know. I mean, Donovan, let's see. I don't think that. Or maybe there is, but it's probably. It serves the uh, uh, office too. Uh, square, let's see, the Station Square Commerce Court building. Now, you know that building elevator, Donovan, that old, old office building is part of the mall. It's in the Master of the General Wins, right? You know that, right? That That's where the General is, right? In that old building there across the parking garage. Roof. Donovan, look at the find the freight elevator at Station Square Commerce Court. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's in that old store. It was restored and they put in a general whenever they restored it. In 1977. Kind of funny where they put a general in an old building like that. I wouldn't even try with the high rise elevators because you got to go for these turnstiles, anyways. You know, probably because of, you know, oh, it's work. It is a nice wall, though. It's on Carson Street. I don't know if PA Elevators has ever filmed that freight elevator, though, before in Station Square. It was huge. I saw it. Now, see, that's the lobby right there, elevator fan. I mean, Donna, elevator fan. All right, here's a map. Wait a minute. It's right there, Donovan, for the high rise. You got your glass and you got your uh, long glass and turn south. And then over there, that's where the general is, obviously. And there's the freight elevator right there, Donovan. See that thing right there where my arrow is? That's the big freight elevator, Donovan. It's that big freight elevator that I was mentioning about Station Square. It's that 4 West Station Square Drive. Now let's look at the other floor. That's the ground floor. Let's see what one of the office floors look like. Wait a minute. Maybe that freight elevator only goes down. I don't know. I don't have the map anymore. Where is it? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks. So that's the freight elevator right there. See? There's a the crop and then there's a the freight elevator right there. Pretty big, huh? Probably only two floors. Therefore, it is with freight house shops. Okay. Alrighty. Nineteen eighty. There's a nineteen eighty Dovers. Those here is a Sheraton built. Those Dovers in there from nineteen eighty. Ripped out the old elevators and put those ones in and restored the building. And then the Sheraton was built in they have six elevators there. Yeah. So, 1980 was when the uh, Commerce Court elevators uh, were good. Yeah. History here. Station Square. Alrighty. In 1970, that's where the incline is, too, they added on to the uh, uh, Sheraton with the Otis Elevonics in 2002. Uh, that's the year, well, that was about 1900. Maybe it was, I don't know. Uh, let's see, uh, what year was the... Sheraton built. Sheraton was not, wait, was not built in 1900 or 1994. Sheraton was built in 19, here. I think I just saw it when it was built. So... What year is it? What year does it say here on the thing when it was built? Okay, here we go. This is Texburg. 
And I believe this is when the service elevators were modernized, too. They were modernized twice. They have Dover elevators in that hotel, but four Dovers and two Otis cars. The hotel 19... Oh. Ew. Right, guys, the hotel... Okay, so guys, the uh, chair, according to what I saw, the hotel was built in 1981. So it's been there for 37 years. And then they modernized the elevators, obviously, in uh, 2002, probably. That's when they probably modernized the elevators in 2002. Okay. Alrighty. Station Square. Let's look at the Golf Tower leasing map really quick. I'll show you around a little bit. Okay, so the Golf Tower on 707 Grant Street in Pittsburgh is um, Uh, yeah, it's a Skype call, but I want to thank everyone for watching me tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, come tomorrow, same time, same place. You know, I don't know about the same time, but come to the same place and have some, uh, have some more fun. So, thanks for watching. See you later. Peace out and good night.